All right, well, I made it. I made it to my spot where I'm gonna prospect for the day. It's not that far from the Genesee plant. I'm probably just gonna end up um, sleeping in my truck tonight because I didn't know what it was like and there's nowhere to camp around here, but it must be a pretty good spot because, I'm just gonna show you this. Somebody went through all the trouble to dig steps in the ground. A lot of rock here, so. I'm gonna assume the gold is pretty good. So I'm gonna get my boots on and shit and we're gonna head her down and try our luck. <sighs> Someone's got this big hole here, so we're gonna have a look at that for gold. Well, the big hole over there, I wasn't getting any gold out of there. Prospected down there a bit. Right here so far, seems to be all right. I'm getting about 10 colors per pan. Which in reality isn't all that good, but at the same time, I'm already here. I can check out the other spot tomorrow, so I can just spend the day prospecting. All right, it's motherfucking beer time. Oh, man. I should have brought more beer. This place is okay. I think once I get past uh, where the overburden fell down on that section, it'd be a whole lot better. I'm getting gold, but uh, tomorrow morning when I ship out of town, I'm gonna stop back at the other place because I got way better gold there. And uh, if I get up early enough, then I'm gonna be sleeping in my truck, so it's not like I'm gonna be able to sleep all that well. I will be able to fucking get there early. Maybe set up for like four hours or so, and then pack her in. But I'm gonna finish this beer, I'm gonna get back to work. So working on this hole, the uh, overburden on the ceiling uh, keeps collapsing, so I think I'm just gonna start over this way. Get those gravels out on the side. Washing the gravels away. Here we are, back at the spot. Get a nice reflection in the river. I think I may set up my camera, try to do a time lapse and get that. I'm just gonna sleep in my truck. This place is a lot cleaner than what the Genesee spot was because that place was fucking filthy. This is at least somewhat cleaner. Not as much gold here. Oh, I'm gonna separate my cleanups and just to see because I was not happy at all here at all, but I didn't want to pack up and leave. You gotta give it a try. You know, you spend so much time trying to find spots, like the first spot I was at today, drove up to it's gated off, because you use Google Maps, and you find all these places with access to the river, but you go down there and the farmer has it gated off, and fuck. But this spot's open, the other spot's open. I mean, if you're out prospecting, and you want to get gold, I mean, Prospectors Point in Devon never lets you down. There's always gold there. Not so much in this spot. But I do think it's motherfucking beer time now. I need another one. Grab one of these house sound loggers. All right, motherfucking beer time, how sound. Ah, to a successful day. I think next week, I'm gonna try to get out on Rocky Mountain House, go north and prospect down that way and see what I can find. I just got a little fire going. Should burn for a couple hours and then gonna pass out in the front seat of my truck. And then as soon as the sun comes up in the morning, it's gonna wake me up and we're gonna head her to the next spot. So you guys have been telling me for a long time to try out the root beer beer. Now, I couldn't find your dad's favorite in my area, but I got Mad Jack's. And this tastes like a and root beer with a little bit of an alcohol kick and it's fucking good. Well, 
Good morning everybody, it's the next day and surprisingly enough, I didn't sleep that bad. I um, was kept awake. There's a, uh, fuck there must have been about 20, 30 coyotes in this area because you can hear them howling all night. It's pretty intense but didn't manage to get some sleep next day. So just getting ready, we're gonna eat some breakfast and then head over to the next spot and see if we can get some more gold. Since I packed light for my trip, this is gonna be my breakfast right here. Ganola with milk and berries. I had some of those meals to cook up last night as well, but I didn't bother, I wasn't really hungry. So, not really hungry this morning either, but I need to eat something. This is actually a pretty nice spot here. I was just working this hole here. There's quite a bit of dirt removed, so buddy must have been out here for a couple days at least. I mean, there's okay gold in this section. Now going down there and around the corner, and then down about a half a kilometer, I was getting about 50 to 70 colors per pan. That was really good. Not getting anywhere near that here, but it's close by and. I don't feel like lugging my shit all the way through the bush, so I'm just packing up. Gonna head her home now. This river is just booting along. It's not even up to my boot yet. And yet. The current is pretty darn good. All right, finally packing up and leaving that guy that owns the Sunfire has been camping in his car for the past week. Now mind you, he's hand panning, so he says he's probably got about quarter ounce of gold in a week. Hand panning, fuck, that's a lot of work, holy shit. I was just getting some wood cut for my next adventure. A little while ago, Wayne Johnston had posted on my video saying that my log splitter was weak. Seems to work perfectly fine for me. I split tons of freaking logs. Anyways, I'm gonna get going. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I wanna thank you guys for watching and the gold cleanup will come in the very near future.